or X Jaws, and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary, but this time not my own gameplay, actually a gameplay, a beast gameplay, I should say, uh, from a friend of mine and somebody else who is here with me. Uh, today I'd like to introduce you guys, or I'll let him introduce himself. Um, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Richard, and uh, this is my gameplay, Sam said. I get 50 kills and only two deaths, which is pretty impressive. I was kind of freaking out when I got this gameplay. It's only the second time I've got 50 or more kills in a regular TDM, so it's uh, pretty good. Yeah, this, this was a um, pretty uh, ownage game, to say the least, and uh, that, your channel is uh, based around not just high scoring games, but also objective play. I just really like your play style. You, you record some awesome stuff, and um, I thought I'd do a dual commentary with you. And today, specifically, I thought I'd talk about um, something that a lot of people talk about, but hopefully we can sort of, sort of shed some light and bring some information that maybe people know about but don't really think about too much. And uh, to be specific, I want to talk a little bit about Ghost. So, um, I don't know about yourself, but I don't really use Ghost. It's not a perk that I use in this game, and it is a perk that I do have sort of an aversion to, and one of the things that I find, you know, um, interesting to do is to listen to the counter ghost arguments and then the, the pro ghost arguments, I guess you could say, if that sounds right, like the people who enjoy ghosts, and sort of discuss, you know, the validity of those statements. And I think you were telling me earlier about um, one of the things that you think about ghost and, and sort of the way it works with um, a specific part of the game. Do you want to go into more detail instead of having me? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. I think we were talking about the motion sensor and um, the argument that Ghost is a perfect... Now, I mean, the motion sensor is a perfect counter towards Ghost uh, because as they get closer, obviously, the the radar pulses, you know, they are. But that this also promotes um, slow gameplay, as does Ghost, because you have to you have to kind of stick around the area that your motion sensor is in. And also, it doesn't... The radius of the motion sensor, it isn't that large, and you're going to have to stick around. And, and you mean, you've, I've got a motion sensor up here because I was uh, sitting in this window waiting for my running thunder to pass... Which, by the way, I have no idea why I'm using, but there you go. Um, yeah, I noticed you were using the Rolling Thunder instead of Blackbird. Any reason for that? Oh, yeah, that's because, coincidentally, I was playing Nuketown just as I watched the Team Martin video. I'm not sure if you've seen it. I have. It's, I where, have. it's where he puts the Rolling Thunder down and he gets, like, 20,000 kills with it. And I thought, whoa, I want that. And uh, so I put it on and forgot to take it off, so gotcha. that's basically the reason. Right. Blackbird would have been a lot more help in this game, though. Yeah, well, you still beasted it up. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Go ahead. Uh, That's fine. Oh, I forgot where I was. Where was I? Uh, the motion sensors and how it's... Uh, you're using it in this game for, you know, the close vicinity, but how Ghost doesn't really uh, work for um, people who are out of that vicinity. Yeah. Um, another thing that people say is that you don't have to, like, stay around your motion sensor. Obviously, it's a portable uh, equipment, so you can take it wherever you go. But this also means that you're going to have to, like, stop put it out, uh, place it down, wait for it to pulse, and then check if anyone's there. And this is all because Ghost is the dominant, let's face it, it is the dominant first perk, and it slows the game down, just as Second Chance does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, this is something that you know really interests me, the whole sort of idea that motion sensors countered Ghost, and how sort of arbitrary that argument seems, because, I mean, Ghost is an absolute perk, it works 100% of the time, it doesn't ever fail. Meanwhile, motion sensors, they will fail if you're at long range, um, it, it doesn't... Ghost um, is something that slows down the game. People play defensively with it, and they wait for people to come across that, to, to sort of run past them, because that's ultimately what you're trying to do. So you're trying to stay off the radar so that when people have radar, they don't know that you're there and that they run past you, not you run past them. And the other thing is with the motion sensors, like you just said, it slows down the game even more, which is something that so many people are talking about lately, how boring Black Ops is getting and how slow-paced this game is and how it's not fun anymore. And the people who do believe that believe it because of ghosts. That's the that's the reason why the game has gotten this slow pace, in my opinion. And I don't... I feel like it's gotten to the point where it's fact. It's not like an opinion of someone. Yeah, yeah. I also there are other um, contributing factors as to why this game is so slow. Uh, one of the other main ones is how the maps are laid out and um, the kind of focus and emphasis on height and points of advantage and windows. I mean, look at Kowloon for example. There are so many windows, buildings, and um, as I said, points of advantage on that map. It is so attractive just to plant your motion sensor get ghost out so nobody really knows where you are for a while and then just camp it up build your killstreaks mm -hmm. and that is another factor why because the killstreaks don't build obviously you're going to have to 
stay alive longer. Uh, what's a what's a good perk for staying alive longer? Ghosties. Yeah. Well, um, listen. Thank you for doing this commentary with me. Uh, you absolutely went to town on these guys in this gameplay. It was pretty awesome, and you and you didn't use ghost, <laughs> and you didn't stay no, in did one not. spot. Uh, so a really awesome game from iTemp. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please go check out his channel. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video. And uh, that's pretty much it. Anything else you'd like to say? I just want to say thank you, Sam, for letting me um, do this door commentary with you. Thanks for everyone for watching, and thank you to anyone who's willing to come over to my channel. Thank you. Bye.